Hi guys, today's video is gonna be five easy swaps that you can make in your beauty routine to be a little bit more eco-conscious. Now, a little bit of a disclaimer ahead of time. Um, this is something that I've shied away from talking about in the past because no matter what it is, if you talk about cruelty-free beauty, for example, you talk about anything that's just, there are certain kind of buzz topics where if you talk about it at all, then you're kind of held to a standard. And um, let's say I say, oh, well, now I'm using a reusable water bottle or now I'm using um, a reusable coffee cup, whatever rather than that be, oh, that's good, okay, we're encouraging small steps, it will be, well, what about all these other things you're not doing? And I feel strongly that, especially with something like this, if people believe that it's all or nothing, they'll do nothing. There's many, many people who will feel like, oh, well, what's the point in just making this one change? One change isn't gonna make a difference. We should all be encouraged to make small changes that we are able to make and that are convenient for us because that's gonna make a big difference overall. Yes, we should all be doing more, but I think these small changes should still be encouraged. And so I want to mention that up front. I'm still, you know, there's still a long way to go. I've still got lots of changes to make. But um, today I'm talking about really, really easy, inexpensive and super convenient swaps that you can make that won't even really impact anything. Won't even feel like a sacrifice. Um, now, before we get into it, I do want to mention the lipstick that I'm wearing because I'm desperate for a tube and I would love your input. This is the Revlon Lip Butter in Pink Truffle. It is my all-time favorite autumn lipstick. I love it so much. And um, they don't make it anymore. They don't make the lip butters. It was a sad day for me. I loved them. Um, how do you, anyone also loves this lipstick? Anybody know? And on a postcard. Um, if I find a dupe, I will be letting you know. But I just put it on this morning and was like, hmm, we're gonna need to find a replacement for this soon. So the first one I wanna talk about, the first swap that I wanna talk about is flannels. Wipes to flannels. Now, this is not something that I've done recently. This was something that it wasn't even an eco-conscious decision. This was something that um, was definitely influenced by the trends of YouTube and the um, <laughs> the fact that everyone was using the Liz Earl cleansing polish. You never really hear about it anymore. I know people still love it, but that was like a revelation on YouTube in, in cleansing terms. It was suddenly, oh my God, this is amazing. Now there are multiple different versions of that kind of product. Um, and I don't want to spend a tremendous amount of money on cleanser, truth be told. I really, really like the vitamin E one from Superdrug, which is a similar texture. It's just like a thick cream. Put it all over my face, hot washcloth, and it's done. I've got loads of these, probably 20 plus, because there's me and there's my teenage daughter um, that use them. And then once a week when the... So number one, I want to tell you how I deal with this. I have two, I have like a, a basket kind of unit in my bathroom. And um, on one side of this basket unit, I've got all the, fla the flowers, all the flannels, sorry. Oh, my back is so stiff today. All the flannels um, rolled up and just like tucked in neatly. And on the other side, I've put in a plastic, plastic, a plastic basket on the other side. And that's where, that's basically like my laundry basket for these. So once these have been used, they go in that little basket and then on the other side is the clean ones. And then when that basket is full, which is pretty much a week, they go in with the towels for the weekly wash and it's easy, easy peasy. I've actually got a towel um, or like a drying rack right next to me that's got all of my flannels on it. It's so simple. And if you are washing towels, then you can wash flannels. They're not expensive. Once you buy them, you don't need to buy them again. Um, not for a long time anyway. And your skin is just never gonna feel as clean when you use wipes or micellar water or whatever it is that you're using, as when you use a proper cleanser and a flannel. Um, I mean, even just from a skincare perspective, do that, it's better. But yeah, super, super easy. I don't even buy baby wipes now. Um, I was try I tried this like soap, oh no, soap, waterless soap, that's what I tried. I really want to find, I know that people use like flannels in little Ziploc bags, but I wanna find an alternative, you know, for if we're on the go and I feel like I need something um, to freshen up with or to like wipe the kids' hands, but the kids are getting older now. It's not really something that I'm, I'm desperate for. Um, and so I don't really need to be using or bringing wipes into the house. I just don't. There are people in the world for whom that is super inconvenient to have to give it up. I appreciate those people with babies that are trying their very best, but also if, if those of us that maybe don't need to use wipes just stop, then we could just let them. I don't know, I don't know how this is going to work, but um, like I say, small steps. The other thing that is very, very similar that I was using a lot was um, single use sheet masks. So obviously there's the sheet mask itself, which is like the same texture as wipes. These are not things that we want to be kind of putting out there because I think they take a really long time to biodegrade and they get into the water system and stuff. It's just grim. 
Um, and <laughs> stupidly never put that in the same category as sheet masks until recently. Um, between that and the fact that obviously each sheet mask is individually packed and that packaging is then waste, I felt like I needed, that was one of the things that I needed to stop doing because it was um, a lot. I'm a, a heavy sheet mask user. So I bought this. Now this is not something necessarily, this particular one is not necessarily one that I'm going to recommend. I've got another thing here as well that I'm going to try more before I recommend a specific one. I will link it, but it is teeny tiny on my face. Um, it's a silicone sheet mask effectively. So you put it on and then, I'm not going to do it now because I've got lipstick on and it's going to go everywhere, but you put it on and you hook it over your ears. It, it makes me look insane. It like fully stretches my face out like this. It makes me look a bit like a sausage. Um, yeah, this is too small for my face. Or my ears are too far back on my head. It's difficult to know. Maybe my nose is too big. I don't know. But the idea of this, and I have used this several times regardless of the fact that it's too small. The idea of this is you put whatever it is, your serums or your um, like liquid or cream face mask, you put this on top and you don't lose as much to evaporation. So it's like able to be absorbed more into your skin. It's the same idea as a sheet mask, but it's reusable and then you rinse it and you can use it again. Um, it's awesome. I really, really like it. I don't know what else I can tell you, but I really do. I like the idea of it. I would like to find one that is more comfortable to wear, um, but I'm using a lot more serums and stuff this way. And I just, I don't feel truly like there were that many sheet masks that did anything that was life changing. And I've had some expensive sheet masks. And I don't think, I mean, the worst some sheet masks, they're from a brand called Wen, and they were very, very nice. Uh, but if that company made serum, it's the serum, it's not the mask, it's the product. So if you could find a product that you feel like, oh my God, this is the best product in the entire world, this skincare is amazing. Use it with one of those and you've basically got yourself an intensive five minutes, 10 minutes with that treatment. So that's one of the changes that I've made, which again, I think I paid a few pounds for this on Amazon. None of these things are expensive. And ultimately I'm saving money because she masks were mega expensive. Another thing that I have replaced masks in, in kind with, um, is the jade roller. Now the jade roller is not for that at all. It's obviously not a mask. Um, this is something that you use to uh, massage your face. You can use it in multiple different ways. You can watch videos about it. But the way that I use this is to depuff. So my eyes are actually a little bit puffy right now. It's still quite early in the morning. I got up early to go to the dentist today. I just dropped my off at school and thought I'll film this video now. So I use this. I just roll it gently over my eyes. And it helps to depuff them in the same way that all of those little single use individual eye patches, sounds like a pirate, but you know what I'm talking about, those little eye masks used to. I was obsessed with those because I do get really, really puffy eyes. I'm convinced that I cry in my sleep. If you watch my foundation videos, I've got, on one of them you could see, I had like a track, or on both sides in fact, there were tracks here. And I think they're tracks of like, tears, it, or like my eyes watering, and they're like acidic. I think my, my face is allergic to my tears. Anyway, so I use it this way, and it's super cold. I don't have to keep it in the fridge or anything. This has just been on the side, and it is super cold because it is obviously stone. Whether it's really jade, I don't know, but whatever. Um, it's cold, and I just kind of roll it over my eyes, and it helps, and it gives me that same refreshed, depuffed effect that those little masks did without the single use anything. And then I can use this every single day and I just rinse it and and obviously then you can use it for a full facial massage as well. But that is what I use it for more than anything, just as that like, ah, oh, refresh. If you've got hay fever, if you've got kind of really dry eyes, it's a very, very nice sensation. So that is another swap that I've made, um, which is one of those things that it's not gonna be a swap for everyone. Not everyone's as addicted to face masks as I am, but it is gonna be for some people. And also it's nice to have anyway. And again, I think that was less than 10 pounds from Amazon. Um, a swap that you guys will expect, I'm sure, because I've been talking about getting these for ages and I finally have, is these. And they are the um, cotton rounds that are, I think they're made of bamboo. So what surprised me about these ones, I bought two different kinds just to see, um, and I will link them below. Um, but what I've been using, I put all of the fresh ones in this bag and then I use this as my uh, like laundry bag and then I tie it up and I put them again with my towels and with my flannels, I put this bag in the washing machine. They come out, I transfer them back to this bag and this becomes the laundry bag again. That's how I do it. So what I was surprised with these ones were, they're cotton on one side. Let's see if this is gonna focus. Here we go. 
So the cotton on one side is like a regular cotton, and then on the other side, they're velvety, which was strange. So on this side, I've been using um, most of all, I just kind of pump my product, it's usually the glycolic acid toner from Pixie, onto there, and then obviously put it on my face, my chest, my arms, whatever it is I'm using it on. You could use these again to take off makeup if you wanted to. Um, I wouldn't say for nail polish, but I haven't tried it. Um, but yeah, just for kind of like toners and stuff, and that's really all I use my cotton pads for. Um, it's been fine, completely, super easy. I would say this is a fresh one, totally new, um, that once they've been washed, they are more absorbent. So I'll probably pop them all in the wash first. If I got another pack, I would do that. Again, then you don't have the expense of having to buy the cotton rounds all the time. They go in the wash with the other things we've mentioned. No big deal. The last thing that I wanna talk about is the newest swap that I have made. And this again, was not inspired by me trying to be um, super eco-friendly. It was to a degree, um, but it was mostly me trying to find a way of shaving my legs so that I don't get crazy razor burn because I do tend to get that. Um, not spending an absolute fortune on razors, which I was doing, and always having fresh razors. So the only razors I have ever really enjoyed using, <clears throat> excuse me, only really enjoyed using are the um, Gillette ones. They're called Venus, they're blue, they're disposable. I think you've got four in a pack. We're talking a lot of money. If you get like a, if you use a new razor every single week, that adds up because I think they're like, I don't know, six, seven pounds a pack, I don't know, I can't, it depends on where you buy them from. But um, they were the only ones that I really, really liked. And um, I didn't, I just didn't get along with any of the ones that had the cartridge heads, the wobbly head ones, I just, I didn't like them at all. I tried the friction-free shaving subscription, which again, I thought, well, this is not gonna be so bad because they'll send me the, the little heads. I'm not using as much single-use plastic. Lots of people told me, that they were um, a fantastic service. I liked the idea that they were sending them to me so I didn't have to remember to buy them. It wasn't super, super expensive. Um, and lots of people told me they were good for sensitive skin. So like basically razor burn, etc. cetera. Um, so I got that, just didn't like them at all. Didn't enjoy, the, the head kept falling off. I just didn't like the whole thing. So I mentioned that again in another video and four or five people said, you need to try a safety razor. I've never even heard of a safety razor. Googled it, ordered one straight away because it wasn't expensive. This is from a brand called Jagan David. Jagan David, it's this. Um, again, I got it from Amazon. It came in this little box. It's plasticky. This is metal. And um, you, I mean, it's a substantial thing. It's quite heavy. You can get longer handles as well, which I didn't know at the time. It's not a big deal. Uh, but basically, you unscrew it like this. And then, this needs cleaning, so don't judge me. On the inside you have the razor blade. So you've got the top of it, you've got the razor blade. You can take the razor blade, which looks like this, out. I bought these razor blades, however, you can get like a hundred for 10 pounds and I'm gonna order those soon um, because that just makes more sense, obviously. I got like very, very few, but I like this little package. I think this is good for travel. So then you push one of the blades out and they're all in waxed paper. Oh, I pushed two of the blades out by accident. And they're flexible. This is the weirdest thing about this that I wasn't expecting. The blades are flexible. I thought they would be like thicker, just very, very teeny tiny. Um, I'm yet to have an accident. So knowing me, I'll be on camera. I'm not super nervous of this. I know a couple of people when I mentioned it were like, oh no, absolutely not. This doesn't make me nervous at all. Put it in. always holding the ends by the way because those ends aren't the razor part they're not as sharp as the actual edges and then you just twist it back on so now you've got the blade on that side and the blade on that side that one blade gives you basically two blades so it's going to stay sharper for longer you're going to not need them as often but they're so inexpensive that you can change them more often so you can have a fresh razor a lot more regularly than you would have done if you were using like the disposables or the cartridges. Um, and it's just one blade, it's just, it's amazing. I haven't really had any issues whatsoever. I've had a couple of nicks, um, just kind of getting used to using it. It wasn't really a big deal, I thought it was going to be. I thought it was gonna be um, like, oh my God, like ever so slightly, but I can really quickly shave my legs now. Uh, it really wasn't an, an issue at all. I was initially nervous of like, the delicate areas like around my ankles, around my knees and that kind of thing. If you want, I'll do a video on actually shaving my legs. Is that a thing that you would be interested in? Um, 
but it, it's really not not difficult at all. So if you're nervous about it being completely different, it's not. If you're nervous about the blades, I don't think it's dangerous at all. What I do with my um, leftover blades is I use this, which is actually kind of a, supposed to be a carrying case for the razor itself. I, it's got a little mirror in it. I use this, I just put them in here. I also put my fresh ones in there as well. And I have it on a, a high shelf back there so that um, the kids can't get to it. I mean, Ella's 14, she could, she's taller than I am, but so Milo can't get to it. Um, some people have said that they've got a jar that they keep them in. Great idea. And it's going to be forever till I have to actually dispose of that because they're tiny. They're just the tiniest blades. Um, this has been the most revelatory swap that I have made because, I, in fact, it's just making me nervous now that I've left that blade just on the side. I'm going to just pop it in here. Yeah, the most revelatory swap I've made for sure because I, it's something that I... it's got nothing to do with the fact that I am using less single-use plastic. It is just way better. It's just considerably better at sh for shaving my legs, for getting rid of that razor burn, for having a fresh blade. I can have a fresh blade every single time I shave my legs, which makes me feel like a high roller. Because to do, like to have a fresh razor every single time you shave your legs would be insane. But a fresh blade, it's not really that big a deal. I don't know. I, also, I can shave my bikini line everywhere. Feel super safe doing that. I don't. I'm, it doesn't make me nervous at all because I know that that is the the question people have. Um, however, I think what I'm going to do is because this is little, I'm going to have this as my travel one, and I'm going to buy another one because I want to see how the different brands are different. I want to see how the different blades are different. I may make a whole video just talking about this in the future. So if you've got questions, tell me because um, I know it's one of those things that when someone told me about it, I was like, what? Like I've never heard of it. Um, but obviously, also you've got the receipt of this, you've got the receipt of, let's say, 100 razor blades, even if you used a new razor blade every single week, it's like two years worth of, that's it. These changes aren't sacrifices. These aren't things like you're gonna feel like, oh, I should do this. None of these things make me feel like I wish I had the thing from before, except for maybe the sheet masks. That being said, I don't miss them that much. That's the only thing. The sheet mask is the only thing where I'm like, oh, I did love a sheet mask, but it was convenience, complete convenience. I could go and pick one up, I could open it, it was already ready. It's just laziness. And give me a year and I won't miss them all. It's not, I absolutely 100% will not be purchasing anymore um, because I don't feel like I'm missing anything from them. It was just that like, it's just ease, just ease. Um, everything else is just, if anything, easier because I don't have to buy things in, I don't have to remember to repurchase razors, I don't have to remember to repurchase face wipes, or cotton rounds, all of those things, it's actually easier to do it this way than any other way. Hopefully this has been useful for those of you that are wanting to make swaps but are lazy like I am. And um, if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe. There's gonna be inexpensive budget beauty content all month. I just did a ton of foundation reviews on very inexpensive foundations. Go and check those out. And otherwise, I will see you guys next time. Bye.